So how we did it was all of the classes did their own little food drive. We provided them with a box from RTC, and they all tried to raise as many cans as they could, and then we all came together and collected it, and it all simultaneously became the RTC food drive. So we're at a bit of a lower numbers in just our population in RTC because of COVID, yet we are actually increased the amount of food that we were able to um, collect, which also was the same thing happened last year. We were at a record low for numbers of like cadets in our core, yet we raised, uh, we raised about just over 6,000 pounds, and this year we were able to raise over 7,000 pounds. So actually we're raising more. So we are sending all of our food to Interfaith, so they have a truck that's going to be coming here shortly and we'll load it all up and they'll take it there and they'll get an official weight total and then they'll do whatever they need to do, distribute the food wherever it needs to go. Every year in ROTC when it comes time for our cadet challenge or our flight challenge as we like to call it, um, we almost make it a little bit of a competition amongst each of the groups to see who can bring in the most canned goods. And this year we're actually coming up to breaking a record for the most pounds of canned goods donated. Each year it tends to go up a little more and you know last year we had less students and it was the second highest amount that we've ever donated. So I, I think it's amazing that you know the work we can put in and we really set our minds to it and helping those in need. Um, so our AS1s, which are our first year cadets, um, sophomores and freshmen, and even juniors sometimes, um, they've helped out a bunch this year, especially because we have so many of them. Um, even if they've donated, you know, four or five cans, it helped out so much because we have so much cadets, you know. Um, I'm proud of each one of them, especially my cadets uh, in Delta Flight. It's just been a blast. I feel like they've also learned a lot of things and learned like a different aspect and thought a different aspect of Thanksgiving, you know. There's other people that need that Thanksgiving dinner or, you know, would like to appreciate the Thanksgiving dinner instead of, you know, just your family.